You know what? I'm not even sad because I'm just glad that all this hype is down now because we can stop with the Carson idol worship and we can focus on the team. He's human. He's a rookie. He's a smart rookie, but he's still a rookie. And obviously when he went Hail Mary for whatever reason he thought, um, I think if DJB was the guy that he threw it to on that side, he would have caught that because he's taller. But I also think obviously Aguilar was held. And I also don't think Aguilar really tried to get it. So at the end of the day, they really should have just ran it down to, you know, 20 or 30 yard line and just kicked it and ended the game. But Honestly, if Ryan hadn't fumbled and they hadn't have questioned it in the Detroit's favor, because I really honestly thought the ball went out of bounds eventually because everybody seemed to have lost grip of the ball. So I really think that call should have been overturned. The refs pretty much paid a part in this game. And I think the thing that ticks me off most is that you can't always get away with just saying that they lost the game because at the end of the day, the players are paid to play. And if they don't get their proper assignments and if they don't make the plays that they should have played, you know, they won't win the game. And basically that's what happened. Um, the defense showed up too late today. You know, um, I don't know if that had to do with Braddon not being there or not, but either way, they replaced the right people that they needed to replace. Kendricks was a liability today. And, um, I think a couple drops or I don't know, catches in the end zone that wasn't made that one by DGB should have brought it, probably been caught. Cause maybe they wouldn't have had to fight for that last, um, score in the end of the game they probably still would have been ahead so yeah there were a lot of uh uh-ohs but I'm glad this kind of hype is down so that now next game we can watch them come back from adversity like they did today and not have the same ending um you win some you lose some but this is one of those games that you're like ugh, it was so in their grasp but they had so many stupid slip-ups And now Carson knows what it's like to almost be there. Because to have a score of 24-23, that is the most annoying score for fans to watch. Because my stomach was a knots for the whole first half. And I was angry, but I still thought they would win. And they could have won. It was pretty much right there. So God bless whoever our next opponent is next weekend. Because they're going to get it. Because everything that now that Carson is probably beating himself up for. And everybody like Ryan who's upset. And everybody who probably should have had a ball you know, and not had a penalty on them for the umpteenth time. Um, Now they know what not to do. So hopefully next weekend it'll be a whole nother round of um, more accurate calls by the refs and um, less fumbles and less, I don't know, no Hail Marys until it's absolutely necessary, Carson. But I just hope as they go on the plane going home tonight that they realize that they needed to get all that, you know, he's never thrown an interception crap out of the way and So now he's human again. So now we can watch him and watch him blossom from a rookie to a pro because pretty much he's been a pro since day one. And honestly, to be three and one, I mean, the Patriots are three and one. So, you know, no one should be thinking that we're the the worst team. We're not. Um, If anything, it's going to keep everybody more interested in us because they're going to see how long this kid can stay positive and poised because he just obviously is not like most rookies where he gets shook. He just got a little off his game. That's about it. But he was never shook. But I'm sure mentally he's probably kicking himself in the in the brains right now, wishing there were a couple of things that could have went right. So, well, now you know. So I'm happy that that's over with. I still think it was a good game. It was less tense in the last half. But that fourth quarter, I knew it was going to come down to either a penalty or a turnover or something. So now that that's over, I'm mixed, but I'm happy at the same time because now... There's nothing to live up to, so we can start over now. And as fans, when Sammy Bradford comes on the 23rd, it's going to be a huge game because they're 5-0 right now. So there you have it. So they're one of the undefeated that's left. So now to watch Dallas hopefully lose to the Bengals, and Redskins already won, so... And then hopefully the Packers will take care of the Giants so that the Eagles aren't that far behind in the rankings because now they're going to probably slip. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth this season, but it's actually fun. But 2017 is actually looking even more better. I mean, looking better now because there will be a lot of moving around and then Carson will be in his second year and he'll be even more polished if that's possible uh, next year. So next year is definitely looking to be a very exciting season, even in the fifth week of 2016. So, but it's going to be fun to watch this team. I don't think it's not going to be, 
Um, and I don't think they're going to be a heartbreaker all the time. I think that they're going to have ups and downs and that's just going to be the journey. But as a fan, I love it. I think it's cool. It's stressful, but it's cool. And I'm proud of my team. Go birds. Fly, eagles, fly.